This presentation is prompted by my discovery early in the summer of 2020 of a third uh, uh, sphere symmetrical pattern involving close-fitting large and small spheres with large to small volume ratios equal to the special ratio 270.1 to 1. Uh, and uh, uh, here is that third uh, way of uh, uh, generating a pion uh, volume uh, uh, using uh, uh, reference electron volumes. Uh, uh, and, and this is uh, my uh, first uh, discovered uh, way uh, where with uh, the same electron volume I generate three uh, pions uh, of the same uh, equal size, the same size as uh, the one over there. And this is my, my second, uh, uh, so to speak, discovery of uh, how to generate uh, from an electron, the same size electron as all those, uh, uh, a, uh, same, a same size pion as the others. Uh, same volume pi on uh, from the same size uh, uh, electrons. Uh, so if possible there I have uh, uh, shown uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the sketch. Uh, that special uh, ratio is also uh, almost exactly equal to the average pi on particle to electron mass ratio also 270.121. to The pions are among the three most stable, uh, important, and early discovered and long-lived of all limited life particles in physics. And uh, uh, the discovery of uh, that third uh, pattern with such a special ratio uh, is important because my past work has shown that the more different sphere patterns containing the same or nearly the same ratio, the higher the chance that such particle will uh, be more stable and more prominent than most others. And indeed, generally, the greater the chance that nature has created particles with masses and mass ratios relative to the electron equal or close to the mass ratios in those sphere pattern ratios, uh, this is sphere pattern volume ratios. Most of the rest of this presentation involves why particle mass ratios are so important to me and also have been so important to past Nobel Prize laureates. Uh, and uh, there are some very important particles among the many of the so-called uh, 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 particles in the uh, physics uh, particle zoo. Uh, among the now large, very, very large uh, number in that zoo, and of course all have mass ratios relative to the electron uh, empirically determined uh, that are easily uh, uh, calculated relative to the electron's mass. Uh, as said, uh, Many physics uh, Nobel Prize laureates have also been very interested in this vexing problem. Why such discrete uh, particle mass values uh, uh, compared to the electron mass arise in nature? Uh, uh, well, you know, why do they exist at all? And uh, these uh, laureates have greatly bemoaned their failure and the failure of physics in general to understand why. And they rightly have not regarded quark theory as explaining it. Rather, it just kicks the can down the road. Uh, here are some Nobel Prize uh, 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 laureates in their comments. Uh, John Wheeler wrote a book, uh, uh, Gion's uh, Black Holes in Quantum Foam, uh, and uh, in it uh, said, out of the productive nine months, uh, at uh, New York University came some ideas that haunted me for many years. I was so enchanted with the electron 
with its beautiful exact Dirac theory and its ultimate simplicity that I couldn't wonder, is everything made out of electrons? And he wrote in another book, what else uh, is there out of which to build a, a particle except uh, a geometry itself? Well, I have used uh, geometry and geometric patterns uh, uh, and uh, uh, to build from uh, electrons uh, 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 these uh, uh, particles, these major uh, physics particles. Uh, they with, again, with this sketch, uh, all of them uh, come out the same volume uh, relative to the same uh, uh, smaller vo volume uh, uh, electron, uh, 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 you know, with regard to uh, particles uh, out of which uh, 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 we build electrons uh, using a geometry. Wheeler explained that he had not succeeded in this, but if you look at the sketches I just prevented, presented uh, and the volume ratios resulting, I think you'll see that in effect I've done what Wheeler advocated and I've succeeded. And regarding other Nobel laureates, Feynman in an interview shortly before his death in 1988 was quoted as saying, why is it that the mass of the muon compared to the electron is exactly 206 electrons or whatever it is? Why are the masses of the various particles, uh, such as quarks, what they are, etc., etc.? There is not an idea in the present time in any of the theoretical structures that I have heard of which will give a clue as to why those masses are what they are. End quote. And Stephen Weinberg, another a physics uh, 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 Nobel Prize laureate, in a more recent book, uh, wrote, uh, the standard model involves many features that are not dictated by fundamental principles, but instead simply have to be taken from experiment. These apparently arbitrary features include a menu of particles a number of constants such as the ratio of masses. I repeat, uh, uh, number of constants such as the ratio of masses, and even the symmetries themselves. We can easily imagine that in here all of these features of the standard model might have been different." End quote. But I think that uh, sadly most of mainstream uh, physics and, and uh, uh, has sort of ignored or obfuscated this issue. So I think, frankly, the situation has been much like the poet Schiller bemoaned. Against ignorance, even the gods contend in vain. This rather short presentation only addressed the average pi on particle mass compared to the electrons, but I've compiled a booklet downloadable at my website, uh, and I give the website uh, uh, at the top of the page with other information on, on me and so on. Uh, uh, and at, at my website, uh, as I, I infer, uh, there are articles showing many other different uh, sphere patterns and uh, how such big spheres uh, are geometrically generated from small electron spheres. Uh, and uh, how uh, such volumetric ratios, big sphere to small sphere, match about 12 of the most common and stable particles in nature. And similarly, or, or in similar articles I've written, are likely available in some online free journals, the General Science Journal and Viexra, uh, and one uh, in a major a mainstream uh, journal in, 19, in 1995. Thank you for listening.